Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now I'm going to try and keep this video as short as possible because I really don't want to hop on the Mr. Beast hate wagon right now, but something is just tickling my fancy. I don't know why it really took people this long to realize how much of a weirdo Mr. Beast actually is. I think he has the same entertainment morals as some of the YouTubers that were really scummy back in the 2010s, who would kind of abuse the fact that uh, people were uh, poor and homeless, and they would do these acts of kindness and record them and like shove a camera in their face as they aren't already having the worst time of their lives except in this form it's just a game show so everyone can laugh it off as like oh you know they're just having fun or oh they're all competing it's the same as like any other sport i mean these nfl players they're fighting over a championship and in, in return they get uh, a million bucks but in this case they are demeaning themselves and taking away all of their dignity as a human for like a hundred thousand dollars i don't know how people watched mr beast for so long and didn't really think about the consequences that this had on the contestants especially some of these people who were literally away from their families for some of their birthdays. I specifically remember a video where it was 100 contestants or whatever number that Mr. Beast decides ends with a zero and they were all confined to a box for X amount of days and the last one to leave gets fucking a million dollars. This guy legitimately missed his daughter's birthday for a couple bucks. Actually, I shouldn't say a couple bucks because it genuinely is a life-changing amount of money. But I don't know, man. Putting people's morals against each other of like, oh, you're about to miss your daughter's birthday or oh, you're gonna miss out on life-changing amounts of money. I don't know how people didn't think this was fucking atrocious and really weird to do to someone, especially a random stranger that they don't really know. That's like me going up to a homeless person and being like, oh, you have a dog with you and you're homeless? Okay, well ditch the dog or I'm not paying for your meals for the next week. People are gonna make the argument of oh well mr beast is being kind of weird recording all these blind people and like acting like he's god but he's also still saving x amount of people from being blind or oh he still built the wells in africa or like oh he still fed these these amounts of people um I, I i don't care this dude gets his money to do this by taking away people's dignity as a human <laughs> you guys remember watching squid games and you're like oh my god this is so atrocious oh my god who would do this these billionaires are scumbags Motherfucker, we're watching it. If you were disgusted at the ending of Squid Games and you were like, oh, these billionaires are kind of, they're kind of shitty people, but then you willingly go watch Mr. Beast, it's the same exact thing. And now it's even closer to being the same exact thing considering the fact that he has a game show. He has a game show now. I want to end off this video with a little skit and I'm going to draw it out because I think it's going to be really funny. Oh, hello, minimum wage worker, single mom, perhaps, that's supporting four other children. Would you like a million dollars at the expense of being recorded nonstop 24 hours for the next uh, million days? But in return, you get life-changing amounts of money. Now, in this time, you're also going to miss your children's birthdays. You're going to miss Christmas. You're going to miss Thanksgiving. You're also probably not going to see them very much. And I'm also going to test your limit of uh, if you want to see them, then you have to lose X amount of money. Let's take away $10,000 so you can see your kid for the first time in a month. Oh, did I mention millions upon millions of people are going to watch you? Hmm, yeah, that does sound like a really good deal. Let me uh, lose all of my dignity as a human to go on this fucking game show with some random stranger just because he's Mr. Beast and he has a title. Now, really quick before I do actually end off this video, if you think Mr. Beast is going to fall off the face of the planet, well, you're sadly mistaken because Facebook moms aren't really in the loop of YouTube. Mr. Beast is really famous on Facebook as well. Middle-aged white women really love him. So although it seems like a very big scandal on our part as uh, people who are in the YouTube loop, to everybody else who doesn't really watch YouTube and doesn't really care about drama, um, they have no idea what is happening right now. The Facebook moms probably make up 90% of his viewership, and I'm not even going to lie, most people that I know that do watch it are either really young children or really old people. So the chances of Mr. Beast actually falling off because of this are very slim. So if you had the hopes of, oh, Mr. Beast is going to lose all of his viewership and lose all of his subs, this is going to be amazing, he's finally going to fucking fall off the face of the planet, um, you're wrong. Uh, so good luck with that. Um, copyright strike all of his videos. That's a joke. Don't do that. That's illegal. Please don't. I didn't say that. I can't even lie. Mr. B's videos are really cool and they're really entertaining. But when you take a step back and actually look at them, uh, they're kind of weird. And I hope you guys realize that now, especially with all this new news coming to light with the accusations of poor work conditions and how he treats contestants and his really weird game show. I hope this kind of opened your guys' eyes um, because mine have been open for a couple years now. I don't know why people haven't realized it but I can only talk to so many people at once. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.